Hey, we're live. Hi, this is Ginny with LearnWithGinny.com. Today I'm sharing with you a little story about doing your best. And you will find several quotes that you can use and tweet in my blog post. So make sure you go over there. Plus, I have a three-step action plan. I think it was three steps. Four steps. <laughs> Four-step action plan um, where you can attempt to make that 2% extra method. I mean, effort. Why? That's the main thing. But before I go on, um, I already introduced myself. This is Ginny with LearnWithGinny.com if you don't know who I am. And I help moms get their home businesses online with their personal branding and getting more leads and customers online to sell their products for their home businesses. And the reason why it's moms is because I like to share business tips and connect them with parenting because a lot of what we learn in our home business niche and a lot of what we learn um, about mindset and such should be passed on to our kids and will help us with our parenting. Got my glasses because I'm gonna read you a story. And the story is an interview um, that Jimmy Carter had when he was applying as a nuclear, uh, what was it for? Anyway, it was for a um, nuclear submarine he was applying to get on and Admiral um, Rickover would personally interview each participant or each um, person that wanted to get in, right? And I guess he was a very intimidating person, <laughs> according to this story. So it's, it's, it's a good story. And what will really get you is the question, the very last question. And it's what really got him too, you know, and whatever your political affiliation or it doesn't matter, you know, he was, he got to be president of the United States. So obviously he had some success. Um, yeah. So before I go into that story, what is the difference? I mean, 2%, 2% makes a huge difference. Uh, if you've ever seen any documentaries about gorillas and such, there's only a 2% difference between our genes and theirs. And I might even not be using the right terms, but there's only a 2% difference. That's a huge difference. Uh, some other examples I got from Michael Hyatt's blog. You might want to go visit it. I did put the link in here where I got it from because I want to make sure I give him credit because I was Googling for examples where a small margin makes a huge difference. One physical example, um, other than the monkeys and gorillas, is water is hot at 211 degrees, but at 212 it's boiling. So the small difference, small difference might be just the tiny line between what you're doing and why you're not successful. Or maybe it's the tiny difference between earning more, or maybe it's your kids um, in their sports. Maybe that tiny, tiny bit more effort is what gets him the shortstop spot. Or you know, the point guard on the basketball team, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Um, my daughter likes to do the long jump. It might, if she did a 2% difference more, that would be the difference between second place and first place. So, because it is, I mean, it's, she was um, beat by six inches. It's just a small, small amount. And it's a tiny bit more effort. Right? So that tiny bit more effort might be the difference between your success and failure or mine. So um, some other examples. The margin of victory in the men's 800 race in, 19, in the 1984 Summer Olympic Games was only 0.71 seconds. That's a tiny margin. Um, a couple more examples in my blog post, so go read it. But let me read that interview. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see because it's tiny writing, but 
going to read that interview for you so you get that part of the story. So, Admiral Rickover, this is a interview um, that Jimmy Carter had with Admiral Rickover, if you didn't get that in the beginning of this um, video. So, here's what he says about it. He had applied for the nuclear submarine program, and Admiral Rickover was interviewing him for the job. It was the first time, I'm going to go and read it now, so... When I say I, this is Jimmy Carter speaking. This is him in an interview. So, I met, went the first time I met um, Admiral Rickover, and we sat in a large room by ourselves for more than two hours. And he let me choose any subject I wished to discuss. Very carefully, I chose about which I knew the most of which was current events, seamanship, music, literature, naval tactics, electronics, gunnery, and he began to ask me a series of questions with increasing difficulty. In each instance, he soon proved that I knew relatively little about the subject I chose. He always looked me straight in the eyes, and he never smiled. I was saturated with cold sweat. Finally, he asked a question, and I thought I could redeem myself. He said, how do you stand in your naval class at the academy? Since I had completed my sophomore year at Georgia Tech before entering Annapolis, I had done very well, and I swelled my chest with pride and answered, sir, I stood 59th in a class of 820, and I sat back to wait for the congratulations, which never came. Instead, the question came, did you do your best? I started to say, yes, sir, but then I remembered who this was and recalled several of the many times in the academy when I could have learned more about our allies, our enemies, our weapons, strategy, and so forth. I was just human. I finally gulped and said, no, sir. I didn't always do my best. And he looked at me for a long time. And then turned his chair around to end the interview. He asked one final question, which I have never been able to forget or to answer. He said, why not? I sat there for a while shaken and then slowly left the room. Why not do your best? When um, I'm doing those workouts like P90X, Tony Horton's favorite saying is do your best and forget the rest. And when you're working out, this is just another example, but if you push two seconds more do one more rep that'll make the difference between you building more muscle and not. If you're just pushing yourself a little bit more. So push yourself a little bit more. Do your best. Forget the rest. Go over to my blog post and use those tweets that I put on there for you. Those quotes. And make a difference. I hope this helps and that you have a great day. So I'll see you on Monday because I don't do my lives on the weekend. Um, hopefully I'll get started on my summer training. Anyway, so make it a great day and I'll see you on the internet. And make sure that you visit the blog post where you can get free training, including my five-step plan for manifesting your goals. You're going to like that too if you like this post because it's it helps you get some clarification and make sure you check out those four steps those four action steps that will help you do two percent more make it a great day